Well, I guess you can say my job is to oversee the coaching and competitive programme for the English teams, English players, uh, starting at regional level, basically, where we've got 10 coaching regions around the country and then our four national squads. The process of identifying talent basically starts with our 34 counties uh, around the, the country. Each county would have some sort of a coaching program where they, they uh, identify and start to nurture talent and then uh, when the good ones get to about say 14, 15 years of age they uh, usually surface into our regional program based on results and, and sort of signs of, of promising performances that they've showed and, uh, and then they, they come into us uh, but at the same time they would probably stay in their counties as well so it's a bit of a joint venture to begin with between counties and us and then as players then gradually move on they, they sort of hopefully get to pull on the England jerseys and, and both play for England and be coached in the England coaching setup. The process of, of supporting and helping these youngsters I, I wouldn't describe as England taken over because I think it's very much a a working in tandem uh, process where, where I think any coaching and any support that players can get uh, is, is a good thing and a lot of the counties and uh, pretty much all the counties are doing a fantastic job at supporting their young players and bringing them through and, and I think our job mainly is to add what players already have. Uh, I, I don't want us to do everything and take over everything, I want us to add value to what they already have. The facilities at Woodhouse Bar are obviously our, our national golf centre and uh, they've been purposely built for, for the England teams, for regions and for counties that want to come and use them and uh, I think they're about as good as they, they can get. Uh, we've got a, a fantastic short game area and uh, it's meant to, to be an area where you can obviously focus on and work on, on certain shots that you want to work on but also where you can really practice competitively because I think one of the, the issues we have as a sport is that very seldom do we get to practice on, on, on the facilities where we play. In most other sports you, you practice and you compete in, in the same facilities. In golf we tend to go to the driving range when we need to practice and then we play on a golf course that look completely different and, and I think the facilities we have here help us to simulate competitive golf, which I think is a, a crucial element of, of practicing in the right way. As well as the facilities at Woodall Spa, our job is to provide these players with a, a, a support package, a program that, that will develop them into the next level of player that they can be. The England coaching program of today really have, have two aims where one is obviously to try and, and build a successful England team that, that can compete well for England, win trophies for England, uh, both as teams and individuals uh, because obviously these amateurs, they play individual amateur events around the world. The, the other aim or the other side of the coin is, is that we obviously also want these players to then continue their development and go on to hopefully compete for majors or, or really high profile professional events because I think we, we realise and, and pretty much everybody involved in golf now realise that, that the, uh, the high profile golfers, the, the, the icons that we can uh, see high up the world golf rankings are, are the ones we need to really market and, and profile our game and I think that is definitely an ultimate aim for what we do here.